it's not only respect for the game and the people who are involved, but also sportsmanship. And uh, we want to make sure that we maintain that. That's not what football is about. Um, we're not suggesting that everyone's going to agree with every officiating call on the field, but uh, there's a way to do that, and there's a way not to do it. And we have very strong rules in this area, and we're going to enforce them aggressively. There's a way to do it and a way not to do it. That's Goodell. Obviously, we want to know what should the punishment be for Hall, and for that, we turn to Miss Brown. Welcome back. Yeah, thank you. I appreciate that. I'm going to just start off by saying, before I say how many games I think he should or shouldn't get, I'm going to start off by saying this. The NFL refs and NBA refs are totally different. You could, you, say, you could say so much more to the NFL referees than you can the NBA refs without getting the tech and all that. So really, I've never seen a guy get ejected for what he says to a ref. I don't care how bad it is. I've never seen that happen to an NFL referee. Now, the rule so with this, them... this is a first to you? This is a first okay. for the verbal. Now, the rule is you can't touch those guys. You can't have any contact with them. And I think the ref was pushing D'Angelo back, so that is considered contact. But like I say, to me, I don't think he deserves any games being suspended because simply because, like I say, it's a, you could cross that line with the NFL refs more than you can with the NBA refs. I mean, I've seen... NFL refs get cussed out from A to Z. Oh, you have? Oh, players. yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, oh. it happens a lot in the NFL. Like I say, basketball is different. You say one bad word to a ref, it's a tech. You get another tech, I guess you get thrown out. But the NFL, you've you heard don't refs work like that. Out by players? Oh, yeah. Skip. This, yes. I mean, I I, didn't, I've never heard I of that. I mean, I, I've done it. Be, I've done it myself. No. I was playing against you Israel. Oh, my no. God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. No, you Bruh, I, I, I didn't yeah, know. It was some choice words, too. You'd have been proud of the oh, word. Oh, no. But it, it was against the Green Bay Packers. Ezra Johnson, great defense in. Either he was getting off the quarterback, I was getting off the quarterback, or both of us was getting off the quarterback every play. And I thought he was doing some dirty stuff to me. Ref never called him. Man, I got up in the ref face, and I chewed him out. But I did know the rule was you can't touch these guys. You cannot touch these guys. So for me... I don't think he deserves any suspension because the ref actually pushed him away. Mm -hmm. You know, if he would have got up in the ref's face and he touched the ref, okay, I could see you talking about suspending him for a game, but for what he done, I can't see it. Now, that's their rules. When you yeah. cussed out the ref, did he throw a flag no, on you? you? No, I didn't get a I'm, flag I'm anything. Now, maybe, that. Maybe, I'm shocked Maybe, maybe Roger Cadell has tightened it up since I, you know, because yeah. I was on the tag right. boo and all that. Maybe he's tightened it up, but when I was in the game, you, it was all holes barred. You could get away with a lot. Wow. I'm very surprised yeah. by that. Back to D'Angelo. He's hot-blooded, he's emotional, talks a lot on the field. He's been in here. I like him. Gets a little carried away, lets his emotions run amok with him occasionally, and he did in this case. But I do appreciate and respect what he said yesterday on the radio show. He said that you can't see the reverse angle of that footage, so you can't see what the ref was saying to right. him. Exactly. So this is a new twist on it. Exactly. I don't know, I'm just being fair to him here. I don't know what the ref said, but did the ref insult him personally? I don't know. D'Angelo says, I want an audience with the commissioner. I want to tell the commissioner to his face what the referee said to my face that incited me to go off the way that I did. Because the play ends with D'Angelo looking to the referee. Do you see what he's doing to me after the whistle? Because he and the receiver had gotten into Emmanuel, it. And the receivers, yeah, Emmanuel what's that? Sanders. Emmanuel Sanders. And so he, they're going after it after the whistle. And he's saying, okay, come on, ref. Come on, ref. And then the ref says something to him. And I don't know what it is. But is it possible, just in the sake of fairness for this discussion, that said referee crossed some personal oh, yeah. line with D'Angelo Hall? Maybe because he knew his reputation as a trash talker and he talked it back to him. I don't know. But if, if that happened, I get it. And I'm, I'm with you. Then I would be in no suspension. But it did happen. Uh, a good friend of mine, Emmanuel Sanders, his media guy, Josh Bryant, went to the game. And he told me in the tunnel after the game, he said D'Angelo was still going off saying that the referee disrespect me. I'm not going to okay, let a referee well, disrespect me. And this was clearly way okay, after the game. Okay, what qualifies as disrespect? It's probably, he's frustrated, Skip. They've been picking on him all season long. He's probably not getting some of the calls that he think he should be getting. And when that happens and you're not winning, you get frustrated. When everybody says you got the worst defense, the worst secondary in okay, the NFL. Okay, disrespect personal? What's it personal? It had to be. It had to be. So? 
Mr. Conscience yeah. of the show. Oh, boy. <sighs> Lomas Brown, all of that was nice, what you said. Mm -hmm. I get where you're coming from. But basically, your point is moot. Mm -hmm. Because you said you knew when you had cussed a referee out and got in his face, mm -hmm. you knew you couldn't touch him. Right. Right. So in other words, you were aware of the rules and regulations, and you didn't cross that line. Absolutely. That was the Paul Tagliabue era. In the Roger Goodell era, mm -hmm. they've gone a step further. Mm -hmm. And they don't just talk about contact. They talk about demonstrative tendencies and demonstrative mm -hmm. behavior to upstage a referee, to visually embarrass a referee, denigrate a referee, et cetera, et cetera. Based on your assertion mm -hmm. that you followed the rules, and you knew what line not to cross. Clearly, D'Angelo knew he was crossing that line. Stay with me, okay. because we're talking rules and regulations okay. here. And see, Skip, this is where I am. I am, as you well know, because you've known me for years, I'm a law and order kind of dude, all right? If I'm innocent of something, I'm innocent, all right? If I'm guilty of it, I own it. This is what it is. Mm -hmm. I don't care what anybody thinks. I know me. I've always been this way. And I'm telling you, if you're D'Angelo Hall, there should be no question that you should be suspended for a game. I love D'Angelo Hall. He's a great guy. I know, I, I, I don't know him that well, but I've spoken to him on several occasions. He's a great guy. He's good for the NFL. I'm not knocking him by any stretch. I'm just saying because his behavior was so demonstrative and visual for the world to see the NFL has to take action. Now, the only modification I would throw into the equation is if I'm Goodell, I would still invite him to the league office and I would still want to hear what he has to say. Because if he's right about that official, then I would suspend that official. You understand? Okay. Make sure it's even handed. Get him. Don't absolve him from culpability. Okay. Just because you're an official does not give you the right to, yeah. to talk to D'Angelo Hall in a negative fashion. But what I'm saying is I can't absolve D'Angelo either because then I'm opening the floodgates for every player to want to talk to me anytime they want to get demonstrative and disrespectful, visually so, for a referee in front of a nationally televised game or even though Pittsburgh and Washington was a nationally televised. I don't want that problem. Right. I want to send the message that I don't want to have to endure this. So, D'Angelo, because your stuff was so conspicuous, I have to make an example of you because I need to de uh, supply a deterrent. But I will not let that official get by if he says what you said he Even said. Even okay. if D'Angelo was merely reacting Doesn't to matter. some below-the-belt insult, well, some okay, out-of-bounds insult. To, but let me say this. It has to be extreme. I, and I don't want to go there, but what I'm trying to say is that there are universal insults. I, I agree. And then there I are agree. other insults where it, it's contingent upon one's personality. What D'Angelo Hall might have, you know, might have surmised as being incredibly disrespectful, another person like you might have been like, I don't like it, that referee getting on my nerves. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Now, there are certain things that are universal, and we all know that stuff. There's no crossing that line. There are other things. Not necessarily. All right. I'll leave it there. Lomas, I can't believe you of all people. Yeah, it's a switch. I got a switch. It's a button. Oh, boy. Press that button. All right, you guys, don't take him off. Make fun of his belly I'm going to take him off because I want to hear his belly anymore. He's always on. I want a ham cuss. I think that'll be funny. <laughs> Not on TV. Really? Not on TV. <laughs> so, but I definitely want to hear it. We're going to go to the green room later. I got to hear this. Meanwhile, the NFL trade deadline Lomas is at Brown. 4 p.m. Eastern today. How this many teams Belichick. should be after Tim Tebow? Skip has a number in mind. You care to guess? Well, we debate that in just a few moments. Aaron ain't gonna get you about you using that. You up on, you find out just how bad you want it. The sun in our eyes and backs to the fences. We didn't.